Okay guys, so we are back. As you can see, it's later the same day, but um, we're on a different segment of the vlog and we're going to be making custom t-shirts or attempting, no, I'm gonna say making, I'm gonna be positive. We're gonna be making custom t-shirts for Crown Collections for myself, for my brand. If you're not hip, check the link down in the description box, www.crowncollectionswithaz.com. But yes, so as you can see, well, let me, show you guys i have my cricut set up there and then i have heat press set up here basically i'm just going to show you guys me uh creating some sort of an idea for my t-shirt that i want to do right now so i'll probably speed this process up but i do want you guys to be able to see the screen so right here i'm just figuring out not only what i want to say on the shirt but also like if i want to switch up the fonts and just the layout of everything so you'll see me type out a few different words as well as try out a few different fonts just to figure out exactly how i want to style the shirt and if you guys are looking for fonts you are able to go on to www.dafont.com it's d-a-f-o-n-t.com and they have a bunch of different fonts there so you're able to download them onto your computer Another thing that makes this a little hard for me is just because I did, for my practice t-shirts, I did purchase um, v-necks. So it gives me a little less space to work with because I don't want to awkwardly place it like in the middle. But like I told you guys, um, and you guys watched me, I ordered some t-shirts that'll be on the way. So it'll give me definitely more time to like practice and like different canvases to like work on. Because just with the v-neck, it just gives you limited space like I was saying before. Ooh, I think I just got an idea. Hold on. So at this point, I pretty much came up with a concept for my shirt. So what I'm doing in this particular clip is I went ahead and highlighted the entire um, statement of minding my business and then I selected the ungroup button. And what that does is it gives you the ability to move each letter individually. So that's what I'm doing. And um, not only am I moving it, to make sure that everything is like even but i also am going to like size the different letters as well because in some instances like the u wouldn't touch the top of the b and i just wanted every single letter to touch one another in each individual word so that it would be easier when it came time for weeding as well as i felt like it would just make the words flow a little bit better so i'm gonna go ahead and speed up the rest of this clip and then i'll show you guys the next step So this is the design that I decided for the first t-shirt that I'm going to do for Crown Collections. I'm thinking about doing the minding my business part in like a gold and then the Crown Collection, like the website in a light pink. So we're going to try that out. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the heat press now so it can begin to heat up. So heat press is plugged in. Once that heats up, I'm going to press the shirt first to just take away some moisture um, from the t-shirt to help the vinyl adhere better. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Open this up. Also, we'll need my kit. These are the two colors that I was talking about using. So pink and gold. And I just have to really figure out, baby girl, is that what you want? Do I want minding my business in pink and crown collections in gold? Or do I want minding my business in gold and crown collections in pink? Let me call. I'm going to call my mom and get her opinion because I really like respect her opinion Aww. i was wondering which should i put in pink and which should i put in gold and i'll show you the thing again okay thank you <laughs> nothing i'm just filming to be safe we're gonna go 12 across and I'm gonna see how I feel about that being on the shirt as well. Like if I like the idea of 12 inches. Crown collections will grow across the shirt about 12 inches across here, which I think is pretty good sizing. And then minding my business looks to be about eight inches. So it'll center on top around here, which I think is also like decent sizing. So I'm about to go ahead and cut the vinyl. Seeing as though the Cricut board actually shows you the measurements when you type your design, it's really easy for you to know the length as well as the width of the vinyl that's necessary in order for you to create your design. So right now I'm just using my paper cutter to make sure that I'm able to cut out a, a size of vinyl that's big enough for me to make my project. All right, so this is the piece that I will need for 
the part that says crown collections is a little bigger but like i said i like to be safe then i need to go ahead and cut out the pink for minding my business which i told you guys is about eight across so and this is our pink so we got gold here we got pink if you guys want a full-blown tutorial of how to do this with a screen recording and everything i can do that for you but i thought i was just putting this in a vlog that's why i didn't make it as precise right now i'm just this is my first time so i'm just doing it and well this is kind of my first time so now we're going to actually place the vinyl on the board you want to make sure there's nothing sticking to it and also you want to place the vinyl face down so shiny side down so this is what it'll look like on the mat um just want to do it this way to make sure that you're um wasting as little vinyl as possible on the computer right here it says mirror I'm gonna gonna wanna press that. Basically, just turns everything backwards, so that when you print print it onto the shirt, it'll be the right way. And then it's gonna tell me to make sure I'm picking the right um, fabric, which I did. Mine is currently set to vinyl, and as you guys can see, this light here is blinking. So I'm gonna go ahead and load the mat here, and then I'm gonna press this. It loads right up. Then I'm gonna press the go button. So you guys know the cricket's just doing his thing, doing his thing. But I, as you see, I had a technical difficulty. Like I made the vinyl a little too long. So I ended up pausing the cricket so that I can cut that piece off so that it wouldn't lift the vinyl as the cricket tried to do its job. I finished the crown collections part. And just take it off because why not? As the Cricut is still cutting the minding my business part, I'm just going to go ahead and start working on the weeding process for the website because everyone knows what well, at least weeding typically takes a really, really long time. So I was just really determined to get it out of the way. But as you can see here, I had no problems with weeding like it was very easy. That was pretty easy. Now I just have to take out the small parts. Minding my business is done. Okay, so I was able to weed www.crowncollections as well as minding my business, which I showed you all a part of. I currently have my heat press heated to 320. So right now, this is just a blank shirt. I'm just gonna go ahead and press this for about 10 seconds just to like take away some of the moisture out of the t-shirt. release I'm gonna take this off now and lay my shirt down so that I can place my vinyl where I would like it it would be good to have a lint roller just to take off any any access uh, material but I don't have one so and this is just my shirt so again I'm just gonna center this about there And this is still at 320 so I'm about to go ahead and put the shirt on now so that we can get it pressed on. Everything is looking okay so I'm about to go ahead and press it and I'm also going to record it on Snapchat as well so just flip that over. Press it for about 15 seconds. So, then we can just go ahead and peel this. Make sure you got no lifting, which I didn't, which I'm so happy about. And this is how the shirt looks. All right, so this is the grand reveal of my shirts. So this is what the shirt looks like. So how do you guys think that I did? I honestly will give myself like an 8 out of 10, especially for this being like my first time really trying to make a shirt. Like you guys know, my fr very first time making a shirt was when I made it for the kids. I'll insert pictures of how that turned out, which that was pretty good too, but I used the iron then and not an actual heat press, so they didn't last as long. And I think I might not have used the right kind of vinyl. But now that I'm on my P's and Q's, my P's and Q's, girl know what to do, girl know what to do. I feel 
like I would like to, you know, just make a little more stuff. You guys already know I ordered a bunch of shirts. Um, so those should be coming on the way. And then I'll be able to just practice more. And then I'll be able to add um, custom t-shirts as well as my own branded shirts um, to my brand as well. And I'm really excited for that. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell. And I might mention it in the beginning of the video. But this me creating t-shirts was supposed to be a part of a vlog. But after me seeing how much footage I had, girl, I said... This needs to be its own video. So that's what ended up making it its own video. Let me know what you guys think. I like how the t-shirt turned out. I want to try more colors, more designs. Um, just one. I'm going to make one with just my logo on it. But anyways, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment down below any questions, comments, concerns, video suggestions, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video, which will be tomorrow. So I guess I'll give you guys the vlog tomorrow i don't know we'll see all right bye